happy Thursday, everyone. It is going to be probably my favorite day so far this week. Um, we are going to be doing a story about a jungle. And um, I did this last year with my kindergarten, first and second graders. But now you get to test out things at home to help you create sounds for animals that you might hear in the jungle. So we're gonna go through that in just a second, um, but we're going to be doing Rumble in the Jungle. It is one of my favorite stories. And if you would like to come with me, then keep watching. Now I'm gonna share my screen. I just dropped something, it is okay. My couch has a bunch of stuff on it, so, um, just be aware of that. Slideshow, let's start from the start. All right, rumble in the jungle. So, um, we're going on a little bit of an adventure today. I've got my coffee, because I'm gonna need it, and a llama mug. Who surprised? No one. Um, but this is a really fun, story about how certain animals are in the jungle, but we're going to try to create sounds to go along with them as I'm reading the story. Um, my couch is a mess. I got a bunch of stuff to play certain sounds on. I've got my elephant with me. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of random things hoping that I can somehow figure out a sound for each animal. We'll see if that actually works out. Um, so let's go on. We are going on an adventure today. Two, we're going on a safari to see animals in the jungle. So here are the animals. We have the chimpanzee, the lion, the elephant, the zebra, the snake, the giraffe, the hippopotamus, the crocodile, I can point wrong, goodness, the rhinoceros, the gazelle, which is a lot like a deer. So the gorilla, the leopard, and the tiger. And I actually think my cat's trying to hop up here. You can't be the tiger today, okay? No. All right, so um, some of these are gonna probably be easy. Like, um, I think, the chimpanzee is going to be hard. I think the gazelle is going to be hard. The giraffe, pretty hard. The zebra, ooh. the rhinoceros, and the hippo, because I actually don't really know what they sound like. Now, fun fact, I did get to feed a giraffe before. And that was awesome. Um, they have really, really long tongues and they're purple, but they like carrots and I got to feed them carrots and it was a lot of fun. Um, I think though, the lion, oopsie, that's not what I was supposed to do. It wouldn't be my class if I didn't make a technology mistake. A lion, the elephant, the snake, the crocodile, the leopard, and the tiger will be pretty much easy to do. Um, I didn't circle gorilla. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna, we'll figure it out as we go. All right, so how do we create these sounds? Maybe. There we go. All right, so what do the animals sound like? We can always use our voice because a voice is an instrument. Um, so let's say for one of the ones that's hard might be the giraffe. It has a really tall body. Um, so we might be able to find something that's tall. I did get to go and get some instruments yesterday. So I have some boom whackers. So I could just Except, you know, you're not supposed to put your mouth on me. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I thought this would be funny because they eat a lot of leaves. 
So I have a box of spinach. I thought just shaping the box would be funny. Um, so the texture of the animal's fur skin are scales. So the crocodile, let's go back here. The crocodile doesn't really make a lot of noise, but think about its body. It's very scaly. So I have this cup of glitter. I thought I could do that. Um, I also have a strainer. <laughs> My husband thinks I'm crazy. He's staring at me right now. <laughs> so I have a strainer. Let's see, the lion, I already figured this one out. So it has a roar, but I don't want it too loud so that you can hear. I thought of using the claw sound instead. Let's see, the elephant. What did I use for the elephant? Where are you? Oh yeah, the straw. I don't know why I chose this, I just did. Am I wrong? Not necessarily. Uh, the zebra. Oh, I could use a clopping sound. Do they have hooves? Now I have two options for the snake. Or I have Lysol. Like this, <laughs> like the sound. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, the giraffe, I am going to stick with my thingy. Uh, let's see. Hippopotamus. All I think about is when they go underwater. This was a sugar free English coffee syrup for my coffees. So we have that. The crocodile, I already did. The rhinoceros. Why not? Why not? There's nothing wrong with that. All right. For the gazelle, I have these big jugs of water that I've been holding on to to make drums out of for you all, actually. Y'all know why. Gorilla. Um, the leopard, you could always do the same sound for the And then the tiger, we got to make it south side related, so south side. I know, this is really cheesy. I also brought in a chicken because I thought I might eat it. It's only here for laughs. All right, so. Your job is to figure out an animal, and it doesn't matter which one you use. You can do all of them if you want, um, or you can do um, a couple or just one. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, just try to figure out, take a pause in this video to take figure out what your animal is going to sound like, the texture of the animal's fur, skin, or scales. Are they loud, forte, or quiet, piano? Or do they have high or low sounds? Meaning, um, like a crocodile's roar is pretty low, if you've ever heard one, like, um, Do they have short or long sounds? So, um, like a chip pan Z might have a short whoop, ee, ah, ah, sound while a snake is like a sound. It's very long. Um, what do I have around me that can make these noises? So I found a whole bunch of things and I even have more than that around me um, to kind of help with that. But uh, go ahead and pause the video and find what you can. And then when you have everything ready, then come back and join me for the story because we're going to get started. So once you're ready, meet me back right here. I'll wait. I'll take a sip of coffee. Okay, are you ready? If not, just pause and come back. Rumble in the jungle.
I was not supposed to do that, but we all know that I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. All right, we have zebras to start. Rumble in the Jungle by Giles Andre, illustrated by David Wachowski. I know I said that wrong. Please don't attack me. <laughs> There's a rumble in the jungle. There's a whisper in the trees. The animals are waking up and rustling the leaves. The hippos at the water hole, the leopards in his lair. The chimpanzees are chattering and swinging everywhere. Some animals are frightening and some are sweet and kind. So let's go to the jungle now and see who we can find. All right, the first one's chimpanzee. So if you're doing the chimpanzee, you're going to play your instrument while I am doing this. So, it's great to be a chimpanzee swinging through the trees. And if we can't find nuts to eat, we munch each other's fleas. Ew. The lion. The lion's the king of the jungle who quietly sits on his paws, but everyone quivers and shudders and shivers as soon as he opens his jaws. Let's see who's next. The elephant. It's great to be an elephant, all big and fat and round, and wander through the jungle, just elephanting around. Who knows what elephant is? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying. The zebra. I could have been gray like a donkey or brown like my cousin the mule, but instead I've got stripes which my lady friend likes since they make me look handsome and cool. And then I have the What's next? We have two, the snake and the giraffe. The boa constrictor is a slippery snake who squashes then swallows his prey. He knows that it's not very friendly or kind, but they do taste much nicer that way. <laughs> Some animals laugh at the gangly giraffe, but I hold my head up and feel proud. I really don't care when my head's in the air and my cheek's getting kissed by a cloud. All right, we have the hippopotamus and the crocodile. Hello, I'm a big, happy hippo. I sleep in the sun till I'm hot. And when I'm not sleeping, I mooch in the mud, when, which hippos like doing a lot. The crocodile. When animals come to the river to drink, I watch for a minute or two. It's such a delight to behold such a sight that I can't resist chomping a few. And we have the rhinoceros. The ravenous rhino is big, strong, and tough, but his skin is all baggy and flappy, which means that there's plenty of room for his lunch, and that makes him terribly happy. Me too, rhino. Me too. <laughs> the gazelle. No one can run half as quickly as me, the galloping gorgeous gazelle. I can leap up so high that my horns touch the sky and I'm awfully pretty as well. The gorilla. The gorilla is big black and hairy and the thing that he likes to do best is to look all ferocious and scary and wallop his giant great chest. You can always act out as the animal you must too. The leopard and the tiger. If you meet a hungry leopard, prowling through the night, make sure you call him sir and be incredibly polite. 
I don't want those claws touching me. The tiger. Beware of the terrible tiger. You don't always know when he's near, but his eyes shine like lights in the blackest of nights, and his growl makes you tremble with fear. Grrr. Southside. The night has started falling, but the jungle never sleeps. The vultures circle slowly while the leopard softly creeps. And if you listen quietly, you might just hear the growl of a hungry pair of panthers who are still out on the prowl. The lions and their little cubs are sleeping in their den, so let's leave them till tomorrow when we'll visit them again. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you had fun. I know it's a little bit silly and random, but I thought since yesterday we did the sounds, how sounds can help us figure out, or how instruments help us figure out things, um, we could be the instrument givers this time in the story. So I hope you joined me. I hope you paused and got some instruments. Um, if you made a mess like I did, I hope you clean it up. Don't leave your parents to clean it up. That's not okay. I'm gonna have to go clean this up. But have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.